So uh, today I just want to have a look at uh, how I can better organize um, when using channels in Microsoft Teams. Now I know that the channels sort alphabetically. So to give you an example here, if I look at human resources, you're going to see that that just sorts alphabetically by default, which is fine. But sometimes we want things to sort in a different order. Maybe if uh, in this example I'm looking at project phases, you want to rather um, sort it like that. So the easiest way, of course, to do that is to add numbering to it. And if I want to add a new channel there and I want to add another project phase, then I'm going to use the numbering in front of it. The reason why, oh, that's lovely. And that's because I just deleted that one. Sorry, having a chat to myself, project closure. Um, the reason why, um, I use zero one is that because if you have more than 10 numbers, then one and 11 will be after each other when it does sorting. So by using zero one, it will then sort correctly. This is a very, very easy way to uh, actually manipulate the sort order of how you want your channels to appear. It might be that you want your channels grouped by sub processes or, uh, you know, different topics that uh, belongs together. So simply by using um, numbers in front of it, um, you can then sort it in the order that you want to sort it. Kind of plan that in Excel first, of course. Um, so just figure out what the channels are that you want so that you can then do the numbering for that. But there you go. Very quick and easy tip to actually de um, sort your um, channels in a different order than just alphabetically. Hope that uh, helps you to bring some calm to that chaos. Um, chat soon.